Galvin, Falco underneath, and Gallagher looking very awkward, and that's a penalty. Well, there was no doubt that the arms were round, and Hoddle, who the last time he took a penalty on this ground, had to take three against Peter Shilton, and didn't succeed. Now tries against Bradshaw, and does. Actually, his first goal for 11 matches. Coming in the 10th minute of this match. Oh, I say! Smile says it all. From Ricky Beer. And Bradshaw seemingly suggesting there was an almighty swerve on the board. Certainly he was beaten by the flight of the ball. And Villa makes it 2-0 for Tottenham. Hibbets. And he scores. And Ray Clements disappointed. Hibbet delighted. His second goal in a week. Huddle once more. Good decision by the linesman because Farco was offside on the far side, but Crook certainly wasn't. Here's Galvin. Oh, he's done well to put it back. Villa! His second goal. But the man deserving of the greatest congratulation, undoubtedly Tony Galvin. Showing then the supreme ability of a winger, although there's more to his game than just being a winger, getting right to the goal line and pulling it back when it seemed too late, and the angle beat the defence and set up there. Brooks, three to pull it back to, Berry again with the challenge, Villa, that's his hat-trick. in another county when he got the ball and they go to congratulate the big man who was the handball of Tottenham says wrote his name into Spurs history last May and has now got a coveted hat-trick Falco Villa to Perryman they're queuing in the middle an absolute bullet Perriman who provided but the power of the header it screamed into the net lovely touch Fia Crooks Perriman and <laughs> rather Galvin, Huddle. This is Perriman, I was ahead of the game. Falco! Well, oh, he'll be most delighted. Desperately wanted to go. Perriman, deep in the box, provided again. <laughs> 